This week in green, a brand new satellite will be orbiting the Earth to better predict weather conditions. The GOES-T satellite is loaded with features that will help scientists to get a detailed look at what is happening above the western half of the United States, from weather to fire to detailed data on lightning strikes and even what is happening in space. While most satellites stay in orbit in our relatively crowded lower atmosphere, circling the planet every two hours, this weather-specific satellite will ascend to an elevation of 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. This is roughly one-tenth of the way to the moon, and from this height, the satellite can remain in what's called a geostationary orbit with the Earth, which means it will remain over the same spot in the globe. This important feature allows GOES-T to spot and report instantaneous changes from space. That's even cooler. The, what's even cooler is that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, it's a mouthful, ladies and gentlemen, uh, will make the images and data freely and publicly available on their websites. But not everyone is happy. Whether people everywhere are complaining that by providing this kind of detailed technology and atmospheric data, the public might actually expect accurate forecasts and up-to-date weather information. <laughs> this kind of expectation is devastating to an industry that has survived purely on being insanely attractive and making shit up. <laughs> Just kidding, weather people. I'm giving you a hard time. I, I got you. Got to rebuild because I feel like every time I look out the window, they tell me it's going to rain, and then it doesn't rain, and then they say, "Don't worry, no rain for a week," and then it's pouring on me and thundering on me. And maybe that's just me. Right. And maybe I shouldn't be so mean to weather people. They are devilishly attractive. They are. But so often, I wonder: Are they just kind of like it's thunder? <laughs> I know. I we I tried so hard not to laugh when you said that at the end, but this is a conversation that Noel and I have often. Now, we live in Southern California, and the weather well, it is, be easy. It is fairly easy, and maybe where you live and you're more, you know, changing of weather systems, they're more accurate, but out here, I think that our weather people have gotten so used to it being 70 and sunny year-round that they probably aren't doing as much research, or at least it feels like it, because they'll be like, there is a storm coming, and then it doesn't come, and they'll be like, there is going to be clear sky and then the rain comes and yeah. you go is anybody really looking is or are you guys paying attention like cold because... front coming like it is 97 degrees <laughs> what are you talking about i think that they're just <laughs> at home sipping coffee and they're like yeah i don't know i'll just look out my window and see what the weather is today yeah. anyway well, we, hopefully the ghost tease. tea can help can yes. help to fix that and i think it's really cool that the noaa which yes. is probably what i should have put the teleprompter instead of trying to say <laughs> national atmospheric administration, administration. right yeah, it was yeah, a mouthful. Uh, oceanic and atmospheric uh, administration um I, is you know the fact that they're making it publicly available is a really really cool thing because you can just log in and yeah. then take a look at the at the satellite imagery and see what's yeah. happening there's yeah. a lot of cool things about it though yeah. um one is it, it gives you lightning strike data they actually wow. have found that some lightning strikes instead of just lasting one second can last up to 10 seconds <gasps> isn't that weird yeah. isn't that crazy and then go up to 455 miles up into the sky yeah as soon as you Nuts. said that, that is wild as soon as you said how far up the satellite was I didn't even know that was possible. I think it's across and up. It's not directly yeah, up. Yeah, but yeah, 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 space. But it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, 455 yeah. miles of, like, freaking lightning. <laughs> it's amazing. It's nuts. And that's obviously extreme and, and the most. But there's yeah. that's 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 pretty wild to think there's that much lightning day they don't have. Yeah. Also, and here's something I didn't know. The Pacific Ocean apparently has been a dark zone, which maybe explains why they get it wrong so often. Really? Yeah, they didn't have enough data on what was happening over the Pacific Ocean. And one of the things this is going to really help with is that, because so much of our weather wow. travels from that direction across, right? That's amazing. Yeah, so, they have a bird's eye view of the Pacific now. Yeah, so they can see a little earlier what's happening and maybe make better predictions, and maybe we'll have a, a better idea of when it's actually going to snow and rain and, and not. Uh, the other thing is, it's, it is like, as I mentioned earlier, it's actually monitoring what's happening in space. So it actually can tell us, tra like, track solar storms. So like when, when there's solar activity that's shooting, you know, radioactive energy at us and, and you know, going to blow out our, our whole planet. Oh, no. With a solar storm. <laughs> They'll know. They'll well, like, they'll hey, know. it's coming. Hey, it's coming. Which will be really great. Go downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that makes any difference. Uh, it can map out wildfires, clouds, storms, smoke, dust, water vapor, ozone, and more. And more. But more is the important part, Jacob. It is. I often wonder what that more could be. Anything. Can it can it map out the size of my swimming pool? Possibly. Do I have a swimming pool? No. But it'd be cool if I did. It'd be cool. Out, so and my kids could play in it, which would be really awesome. I should have said yes, you did. Yeah, I should have said you do. <laughs> I do. And I would have said the heart. truth. In, in your heart, heart you have a, swimming, a pool. swimming pool. In my heart, it's filled with love. Oh, we'll have more for you soon.